Hello Art Beaters, Becky here for ArtBeats.com and I've got a brand new video for you today. Today I'm showing you how to use the Crystal Katana Rhinestone Pickup Tool and how to use the replacement tips for that very same tool and I'm going to be showing you how to use them with Presti's Crystal Flatback Rhinestones and I'll also be providing some inspiration from our design studio for jewelry and craft projects to make with the Crystal Katana and Presti's Crystal Rhinestones. So let's jump in. Uh, yes, yeah, so we're talking about the Crystal Katana today. It is a really popular rhinestone pickup tool. Um, so it helps you put flat backs, crystal flat backs in place on your jewelry and craft projects. And it comes in this super cute um, case, great for travel um, and storing your Crystal Katana. So this is the Crystal Katana. It has a wax tip on one end, and this wax tip leaves little to no residue. And what's also great about this rhinestone pickup tool is it is proven to last 10 times longer than any other pickup tool. This thing is going to last. You're going to be using it again and again. So if you are someone who uses uh, crystal flat backs in your projects a lot, whether it be crafts or jewelry, this is something you're going to want to invest in. It's a really great tool for picking up rhinestones and placing them easily on glue. So, and it really helps you aid. It aids in gluing and placing small crystals, but not only crystals, you can also use it with paper die cuts and sequins. So whether you're doing a mask, making some jewelry, blinging out your, your everyday items, making Christmas cards, you can use this wonderful crystal katana for that. And we do also have replacement tips. This is a wax tip that helps pick up the crystals. We have replacement tips for that as well, and I can show you how to use that. So I have some prestige crystals here. And what's great about this tool is it works with almost any size crystal flat back, whether it's really small or really big. So to use it, you're gonna want some glue as well for gluing the rhinestones. I have some glue recommendations here. Jewel Bond is a really good glue for gluing rhinestones, sequins, and glitter. Gem Tack is another really great one. E6000, I used that in these projects here. This one's gonna hold really well. You can also use epoxy adhesive, two-part epoxy adhesive. We have some five-minute two-part epoxy adhesive available on our website, artbeads.com. That's gonna be good for quicker projects because Epoxy adhesive takes 24 hours to cure, but the five minute version is going to start drying in five minutes. It's a really fast drying version. So for something like these, where you're just gluing a few flat backs, that's a good choice. There's also other versions of epoxy adhesive that takes longer to dry, like a 90 minute uh, epoxy adhesive. So that's something to look into. Epoxy adhesive is really strong. Your crystals aren't gonna go anywhere if you use something like that. So once you've got your glue and your crystal flat backs in place, you're ready to start gluing. So let's say we want to decorate our crystal katana case here. You're just going to use your wax tip to pick up and I like to kind of point straight down. It feels like a pen so your you're kind of your um, instinct is to hold it like a pen but it actually works better if you point that wax tip down and then pick up like that. So you put your dot of glue and then you um, place your crystal and if there's glue here the glue will kind of pick up your crystal and then you use this end of the crystal katana to press that crystal further into the glue get it really set in place even if you're using epoxy clay um, that can really help you press that crystal into the epoxy clay in an even way so i've got these bigger crystals here i'm going to pick this one up just apply a gentle pressure put it in place and then use the other side of the crystal katana to place it in your glue. Now, what's great about the crystal katana, I've got um, smaller crystals here on my tray. There is actually a little, um, little tool inside adapter for using with smaller crystals. So this one is going to help you press those tiny crystals in place. So I'm going to put that um, tip through here and then I'm going to screw this end back onto the crystal katana. So now I have that little adapter for the smaller crystals. And this, this adapter is good for positioning SS9 to SS3 size uh, flat backs. And you can use it to add them into two-part epoxy clays um, and glues. So I'm going to pick up one of my tiny crystals here 
apply a gentle pressure, pick it up, put it in place. And if I had glue here, that would kind of stick better. I've got my crystal in place. Use that tiny applicator to get it in there really nice and um, even. So that's a really nice feature of the crystal katana that you have that adapter to work with these smaller crystal flat backs. Um, really wonderful tool. It lasts and lasts, but if you are using this a lot, you might want a replacement tip. I've got an older crystal katana here and I've got a replacement tip. Really simple to replace that. And these, everything here, the crystal katana and the replacement tips, they come with great little instructions to help you get started but it's a really easy tool to use and the replacement tip also comes with little instructions so what you do if you've got a worn crystal katana tip you kind of just pull it out like this and just kind of keep pulling until it's all the way out and there's a little um, black rubber grommet in there too. Sometimes that comes off with the tip. If it comes off, just uh, push it back in there um, and then put the uh, new tip on. And that's super easy. There you go. And then you can also they uh, provide a alcohol wipe with the replacement tip. You can use that to moisten the stick of the replacement tip to get it in there a little bit easier, kind of lubricate it. Um, and then you just hold that firmly and twist into the rubber grommet all the way into the neck. And then you've got a new tip on your crystal katana. You can use it again and again and again. But like I said, these last a really long time. So um, while you're buying your crystal katana, buy your replacement tip and then store it and you'll be ready for whenever, um, whenever you need it. So really great options for flat backing, super fun. And there's lots of different ways you can add crystal flat backs like the prestige crystal flat backs we have here today to your product. Projects. So if you've never worked with a flat back, as you can see, they are beautiful crystal jewels, crystal rhinestones with a smooth flat back, which is perfect for gluing and adhering to different surfaces. And they come in all kinds of different sizes from bigger and bolder to the really tiny. So there's all kinds of great ways to use them. I just added this beautiful mask back onto our website. It used to be on our website and then somehow, I think um, because uh, it just because we kind of ran out of some of the crystals, it got removed from the website. But now that we have the prestige crystals in similar colors, we brought it back and we have step-by-step -step pictures for how to make this beautiful piece. Uh, beautiful crystal rhinestone flat backs on tool. Epoxy adhesive was used to glue the crystals on to the tool. And then there's also dimensional fabric paint or puffy paint used here to create the outline of the peacock mask. And that also helps you know where to glue your flat backs. So the crystal katana would be great for a project like this. It would make it so easy to um, place those flat backs in the perfect spot. Isn't that just beautiful? Great for Halloween or maybe like a New Year's Eve masquerade ball all kinds of events you could wear this to. Maybe like a renaissance fair, if you have like a high fantasy theme going, this would be really great. Cosplay, there's all kinds of different um, events or variations of this mask you could you make. Um, and the crystal flatbacks just make it so spectacular, so beautiful. So this is in our design studio now with a supplies list and instructions for how to make it. We've got nice step-by-step -step photos for that one as well. I like to use uh, prestige crystal flat backs in jewelry and I like to use them to kind of bling up different um, jewelry embellishments so for these earrings I had these wonderful kind of drop components they're just little charms and I glued some pretty prestige crystal flat backs onto the surface of those I used e6000 for this it holds really well and I've got that fun kind of triangle shaped flat back there in the center and then the small round flat back so that's another fun thing there are different shapes of of crystal flat backs available to you. These round ones are obviously the most popular because they kind of fit in anywhere. They nest up really nicely, but we do have some fun shapes like these triangle shapes. Uh, we have some star shapes, all kinds. So definitely check those out too. So I just blinged up these little drops and then I made a beaded link with some prestige bicones and a pearl 
and we've got a fabulous pair of glamorous earrings. I think these colors are spectacular for fall too, and Christmas. These make good Christmas earrings. Hi, hi, Anne. Good to see you. So really pretty, pretty fast to glue those in place as well. Um, I did the same kind of concept with this tiara cast feather and it kind of matches our peacock mask that we have here. You could wear these together. I just glued some prestige crystal flatbacks onto the surface of a peacock feather pendant. I love the bold size of this peacock feather pendant and it's nice and flat. So it was easy to glue flat back rhinestones in place. And we've got that nice big oval one there in the center because uh, peacock feathers, they always have that eye in the center of the feather. So I used that oval to kind of represent that. So really love how that turned out. This is in our design studio as well as these earrings. And then I had a lot of fun with different embellishments in this necklace piece. I've got a guardian beads enameled component. Um, so it has a glossy enamel on the surface. I glued some flat backs onto there again with E6000. I've got this wonderful brass filigree link that I glued some flat backs onto strategically and then this fun leaf. Again, another really fun kind of fall color palette here. And then more prestige crystal in the body of the necklace. I made beaded links with some scarabius green pearls and some bicones thrown in there as well. I really love how this one turned out. It, it looks super magical and super sparkly thanks to all the flat back rhinestones that I added. Um, we also have some other great craft ideas for adding flat backs to your jewelry designs. I made this headband. I found this velvet headband and then I blinged it up with some crystal flat backs. So you could definitely use your crystal katana to place those flat backs on the velvet headband. Um, velvet headbands are just so much fun and just buying a blank one and blinging it one up with your own crystals, that's a great way to make the design like entirely unique. If you want it to match certain pieces of your wardrobe, that's a great way to do it because you can choose the color and size crystal flat backs that you're adding. So that's super fun. I used a uh, jewel bond for this one because um, that one I believe Believe works on fabrics. Yes, bond to fabrics. So I did use jewel bond for this one, and this one is in our design studio with instructions and a supplies list as well. So love that. Um, some more craft ideas. This is a cute just little makeup brush that add, we just added some crystal flat backs to the top for a fun little blinged out look. So that's a great idea if you just want to add some sparkle to your everyday items. This is great. Um, with the holidays coming up, you could totally make holiday cards with flatbacks or little gift pouches too. This gift pouch, we just glued some flatback rhinestones to the top edge. Look how cute that looks. It just adds a little bit of sparkle. And I love too here, there was also little charms, little bead dangles added um, just to the stitching below the drawstring pouch. Um, with jump rings. So easy. So that's another cute little way to personalize your gift bags for Christmas, little stocking stuffers. Um, this would even be a really good little wedding favor idea if you're if you're planning a wedding or helping with a wedding and you've got some cute wedding favors. This would make a cute little bag for your wedding favors. So sweet and such a unique look. Everyone's going to remember that. Um, Christmas stockings. I love like personalizing Christmas stockings. I want to make a cross stitch Christmas stocking. I think that would be really fun. But you could also bling one out with crystal flatbacks. This one, you can see this fun kind of, it's almost like a leaf shape was used to make this holly design. And then we've even got some seed bead fringe on the bottom edge of the stocking cuff, which just adds so much to it. So really pretty. Again, that crystal katana is going to help you put those flat backs in place perfectly. And um, this color I've got here actually matches really well. So you could add even more bling in. <laughs> so really great idea for holidays, customizing and creating your own Christmas stockings. This one has a cute little bell on the end too, which makes a nice little jingle jangle. So that's super fun. Super cute. I love that. And then uh, this is one of my favorite ideas is flat backing the heels of a shoe. Now, this is a great idea for a wedding too. If you're, if you've got some wedding shoes that you want to just 
completely bling out. This is a great idea. You can add crystal flatbacks to your shoe heel and just wow that's really going to make a statement so that's a great idea you can take this idea and apply it to all kinds of different accessories we've got some on the front here some bigger crystal flatbacks glued to the front you can just make your own fashion statements um, great idea for handbags as well if you have just a simple evening bag that you want to bling up you certainly can do that um, so many great ideas for using crystal flatbacks in your jewelry ideas and your craft ideas. I've seen a lot of them too uh, pop up in makeup. A lot of uh, girls are like applying them like above their eyebrows or around like the corner of their eye just for a little sparkle in your eye makeup. So you can use flat backs in all kinds of ways. You can use them in nail art if you want to add some bling to your nails. They're so great to have on hand for whatever project you might be thinking of, or maybe a project you haven't thought up. These are nice little staples to have on hand for whatever comes up in your DIY life. <laughs> They're so useful. You can use them for Christmas cards, making little gifts, handmade uh handmade trinkets just everything and the crystal katana is really going to help you um, make even more because it makes picking them up and placing them just that much easier so really love the crystal katana it's back in stock available now at artbeads.com and we do have those replacement tips available as well maybe you already have a crystal katana but the tip is starting to wear out we've got the replacement tip for you as well and we do have wonderful selections of glue for you to try with your crystal flatbacks and definitely check out this prestige crystal flatback rhinestones they're so sparkly so beautiful and they're really just going to enhance all of your jewelry and craft projects I mean look at the sparkle on this beautiful peacock mask it's just a wow so beautiful so wonderful time to start using prestige crystal in your jewelry designs especially flatbacks now that we've got the crystal katana back in stock and those replacement tips so let me know if you have any questions um, leave them in the comments I'd be happy to help answer them thank you guys so much for watching I hope that this video was helpful and inspiring let me know if you have any questions please make sure to leave a like and a comment and as always make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell notification so you're the first to know when videos like this are out on YouTube thank you so much and I will see you next time bye